for the final match in the Run for the Rubies Elimination Tournament for the vacated Glow Crown. The winner of this match walks away as the new Glow Champion. Interesting first from Coventry, England, the British bombshell, Godiva. Of course, and through the town I ride my horse. I'll prove I'm beautiful and quite tough. Cause in the ring you'll see all my stuff. Every bit of it, every bit of it. Her goal tonight is from Cheyenne, Wyoming. She's the beautiful Indian princess, Cheyenne Cher. My tall hot top will take this toll. I'll drop you like a totem pole. You better stay on my good side or you'll be facing Cheyenne. Mr. Steve Blantz. He will crown the new world champion. Let's go to ringside. This is it. The final bout in the race for the Glow Crown, the run for the rubies. JS brings off the ropes with a body press, but Godiva catches her and dumps her. Hi, fans. Motormouth Mike Morgan in the broadcast booth for this history-making battle. The bulky Britain taking over on the Indian. Pounding a stomach like a punching bag. The English muffin pulling out all the stops. She's used every trick in the book so far to get this far. I've got to be ready for Godiva's Buckingham bounce. If the choking and gouging doesn't get you, the dead weight will. Fans, let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who helped make Glow the great hit it's been this season. We couldn't have done it without the fine people at the Riviera Hotel. President Arthur Walsman, Mark Sturbins, Barbara Hayes, Sam DiStefano, and all the employees, the technical crew, and everyone who works behind the scenes, and most importantly, you, the fans, you've proved all that glitters is Glow. Whoa! Cheyenne flattened her like a trampled flower bed. And now she takes over with an arm bar. Godiva engineered Roxy Astor's elimination from the tournament, so she could face the lighter, less experienced Indian. But now that doesn't look like such a good idea. She punishes her with a bow and arrow. But the Coventry cargo flips her over. She'd rather get a crew cut than give up now. The Britain sets and catches her with a big drop kick. Both grapplers can fly. They had a gymnastics match some weeks back that people are still talking about. She takes control. Oh, a shot to the gut. And she sets for a suplex. But Shea blocks it, hooking Godiva's legs. She sets again. But Cheyenne stops her once more, locking her legs. The Indian putting on a great defense against that punishing maneuver. Godiva's lost. But Shea isn't. She takes her over in a suplex of her own. And the crowd goes wild. Let's face it, they'd rather see the Britain's horse wear the crown before she does. The Indian scales the corner. She sets, waiting for a prey. She crashes into the human tea bag with a big forearm smash. Now she grabs her legs and turns her over into the Boston Crab, punishing her back with that submission hold. Whoa! The bulky Britisher flips her out. Cheyenne could be making a mistake by going for a submission. Godiva would sell her eye teeth for the crown and then steal them back. Cheyenne Cher, I heard what you said about me not being able to get my butt off the ground. Perhaps you're just jealous because you've got the body of an underdeveloped 14-year-old boy. Godiva, proud of her body. If they gave her her weight in gold, she could save the British economy. She sets in the corner. Ooh, she slams a foe with that bulldog. The Indian down, dazed on the mat. The lumpy Londoner, happy with this turn of events. She can taste the crown now. She pulls Cheyenne Shear up by the hair and takes her up into a shoulder hall, walking her around the ring, showing off for the crowd, and she dumps her. No, the Indian holds on and rolls her into a pin. She's down. This could be it. No, only a two count, but that close call may teach the Cockney not to be so cocky. Godiva's had to use all her dirty tricks to make it to the finals. She turned on MTV in the wildcard battle royal, used the ropes to pin Daisy in the semifinals, and held Roxy out of a match until she was counted out. But now the teabag looks like cannon fodder. The Indian follows up on that drop kick, 
holding the English muffin up by the hair. Into the ropes. No, a reversal. But the plucky girl catches her in a sunset flip. Godiva down again. Whoa, Godiva just able to kick out. You may have to glue her shoulders to the canvas for that third count. She trips a foe, pulling her down. The Coventry cargo grabs both legs. She's setting for something. Oh, she heaves Cheyenne over the ropes and completely out of the ring. The Indian rocked by that collision with the arena floor. Godiva telling the referee to count. The official complies. The British bundle is ready to claim the crown now. And it doesn't look like the grappler will make it back in time. All of the plump pudding treachery may have paid off. Cher trying to rouse herself, and the London Lump wants the ref to count faster. I would say keep your shirt on, Godiva, but she said that a long time ago. And the battered girl slowly makes it to her feet. She's on the apron. Oh, the English muffin meets her with a shot. Now she hauls her up. Cheyenne, too exhausted to defend against the suplex now. Oh, she cracked to the mat like a fallen redwood. The British bundle reveling. She may well prove that crime does pay. She stalks her foe, the crowd trying to rouse Cher. But now the Briton pulls her up. All the way up and into body slam position. And she dumps her on the turnbuckle. Taunting her, making her view of the crown that's slipping away from her. Godiva's mean streak is as wide as she is. She yanks her off that perch. Ooh, and slams her down again. The Britisher enjoying this as much as the five meals he already had today. She punished her with that sledgehammer. The abused Indian can barely hang on. The bulky Briton pulls her to finish her off. Godiva sets for a slam. Oh, the referee caught as she turned. The official's down. And Roxy appears out of nowhere. She plants both feet on the chair's back, toppling them both. And Cheyenne lands on top. She hooks her foe's legs. She's got her pinned. 